Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Positive Club. What does believe in yourself really means? This thing you can take it in many directions. But from my humble point of view, and sometimes not so humble, believing in yourself is to fall in love with yourself. On some level, find out who you are, find out what makes you happy, and find out what excites you, and find out what makes you relax. To believe in yourself, you have to study a lot. You have to read a lot of books, you could say. You can learn about different spiritual modalities. Things that give an insight to yourself to see who you are. For example, reading gloomy poetry, it makes you relax. It makes you fall in love with yourself. It makes you believe in yourself a little bit. And then when you start to believe in yourself, you gain extra self-confidence. And you see the beauty in everything, not all, because most of the people, they see the cup half full. You see everything, it's half full, you say, <laughs> most people see the cup half empty. You start to see the cup half full. Every one of us has a gift. Find out what is your gift, what is your purpose, and in doing what you're here to do, makes your believing in yourself even deeper. My field is film, media, branding, marketing, painting, all this stuff. And I love it. When I do it, I feel so good. Because I love what I do, it makes me believe in myself deeper. And when you start to believe in yourself, you stop giving a damn about the people around you who are trying to put you down. And it will happen. Anytime you start to believe in yourself, the confidence vibrates at such a high level that people noticed. And a lot of people will try to stop you because they know you're going to be successful. And when you become successful, when you're a good person, you go help other people that deserve it, not just everybody. Sometimes it's very hard to believe in ourselves because we have been through so much crap. And the best way to do that is you do, you go step by step. First, you slowly start doing things that makes you happy. For example, go to the gym, go for a run, go for a hike, do a painting, tiny painting, you don't have to go crazy. Something that makes you feel good. And that will give you self-confidence the more you do it, right? When I first started filming, I sucked at it so bad. And then when I went to the universities, you know, I learned some stuff and whatnot, right? And I worked my ass off. I became the technician in the university to learn about all the equipment. So at night, I used to go up and set up all the lights, all the equipment, and just, you know, shot little things. I started shooting products first, and they all sucked the way I did it. And slowly, I learned about lighting and all of that stuff. And now I'm confident I can take on any projects because I've done it so many times. That's believing you're believing yourself that you can do it. And then the, the tools will come in front of you. All the doors open. But you have to work your ass off. You cannot just say, okay, I believe in myself and not do anything. You have to take action. Even inner stuff. If you have a lot of things, you know, that is bothering you and things like that. Studying psychology. I like Carl Jung psychology. He's very good. Studying psychology and things like that. To find out who you are, what is going in your mind, what is going in your heart. And figuring out what is triggering you will help you to believe in yourself. One of the biggest mistakes we make, we go and believe in everybody else. We learn, you know, we think everybody else is the best, except us. But everyone who has some kind of a knowledge or who's an expert in the area, they started from nothing. They didn't believe in themselves, they started slowly. But now we see them like, oh wow, so and so is so great. Accept that it might be a little bit difficult and it's gonna be a long journey. One of the most important thing about living yourself is to love yourself, appreciate yourself. You're one in the trillion sperms or whatever, I don't know the count, and you're the special one who survived. Everybody else didn't. So you were the smartest. Give yourself some credit. Also, drinking, doing drugs, all that crap, all that BS, it's not gonna make you go anywhere. It's not gonna do anything for you. You don't need that stuff. When you believe in yourself and you fall in love with yourself, you become very, very happy. You're drunk all the time, so you don't need that stuff because that stuff is temporary. And also, when you believe in yourself, you don't need confirmation from other people. Oh, am I, am I handsome? Oh, am I beautiful? That doesn't do anything. That means you have a lack. The more you believe in yourself, the less lack you have. The more stronger you become. The more self-confidence you become. Hopefully not in a cocky way, but in the humble, amazing way and uh, all of that stuff, right? It's never too late to believe in yourself. And I tell you, the society purposely make us not to believe in ourselves because our power comes from believing in ourselves and infinite possibility arise from that. And also never follow anybody blindly. Learn as much as you can and come up with your own 
conclusions. A lot of people they just go follow other people and they take the information, they think that person is the God or whatever you want to say, right? Come out to your own conclusion because it's one of the most dangerous thing if you're going to start believing in other people and things like that, right? That's why we need so much problem in our society. We keep thinking other people are better than us and they know the answer while we all know the answer. Once you stop believing in yourself, you go down, you go deep down into self. And the more you go down to the self, the self really has no identity. And within that nine identity, you can see everything. Believe in yourself. I hope you take something away from that. Also, we have workshops coming up and we have a lot of spiritual stories coming up on people who are making a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the best.